I was at a meeting yesterday where we were talking about the revision of our reporting system that we use in our high schools here in the uh, Greater Saskatoon Catholic Schools. Um, there's two types of reports that we do in a high school class. One is called a progress report that works, that happens approximately halfway through the semester. And the second one is the final summative report that we do at the end of the, the course when the student has completed everything. <clears throat> one of those I think we need to consider as a learning process and that should be the the midterm report and that should be a time where you give instructions to a student and to the parents so that they have some material that they can work with in order to better their grade. When you do the final report at that time it's too late to do any changes so then it doesn't really matter uh, how many comments or the things that are put on there. So the, the year end or the semester end report is very simple in my mind. The, uh, the midterm report is the one that it is a teaching tool and can be and should actually take a lot of thought in order to make that one work properly. Here at the cyber school what we've done <coughs> is because of the electronics and because of the fact that we know everyone has computers at home we have our grade book sent home as a um, progress report every two weeks and every as these reports are sent out they're sent to the child and to the parent explaining where the child should be how um, whether or not they're up to date on their assignments and what their grade is their running grade is at the at that point in time at the very end the final report is a very simple report that just states this is the mark that you received in your grade and then that is sent off to our um, provincial government in which gives the credit or records the credit and so that's the process that we'll be using here at the cyber school when it comes to progress progress reports and the final reporting system